that we've ever had on. And by your calls and your letters, many of you felt the same way as Stella and I did. Uh, you want to? I thought he. I thought that he did what he did so well that it's almost speaking about all these professionals or mm -hmm. professional amateurs that. The, the biggest thing in his life, see, he was born with no speech. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing in his life was to sing on the Al Albert Show because that's what he was raised with, mm -hmm. your show, in, in, you know, in his home. And he did it. And he did it. He pulled it off, and uh, we, want, you know, we wanted you to if watch If you this. missed uh, this particular performance, as I said, one of the most special persons we've ever had on Showcase, James Ward, ladies and gentlemen. for a long, long time as a real special person. And we're going to have and, him on again. Oh, yes, we will. And, um, and I just wanted to remind you, remember, he was born without speech. His dream was to sing on the Al Albert Show, which proves no matter what your dreams are, whatever they are, you A week or so ago, we, we showed you something that we had on about a year ago. A young man uh, who was born without the full facility of his voice box. And all through the years, the only thing he ever wanted to do was sing on our showcase program. And he achieved that goal. He has a fantastic voice. We, re, uh, we showed you once again uh, the segment that he was on when he sang for us. But he visited with us in our audience this morning. And so many of you asked me about him. His name is James Ward. And one of the things he's always wanted to do was sing Try Little Love. Welcome James Ward back here. How are you? you look great. Stella tells me the one thing you owe, you know when I sing those last eight bars of Try Little Love, you want to do it instead of me this morning? Yeah. Okay? All right. Okay. Cool. Good night. 
Thank you, everybody. I think I just lost my job.